In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to customize the tooltips in a reference line. In this example, I'm looking at the sample coffee chain data set that comes with Tableau. First thing I want to do is I want to, oops, I want to look at a chart that is uh, just sales by state, something very, very simple. Now, I want to have a reference line on here for the budget states or for the budget sales. So I'm going to drag budget sales to detail. And then on the, on the analytics pane, I'm going to drag on a reference line. And I want it to be across the whole table. So I want to look at the average budget sales across the table. OK, and we get something like that. And we can customize this label down here at the bottom if we want the one that says average budget sales. But one thing we can't do is we can't customize that tooltip that's in there. So if I edit my reference line, you'll see there's no tooltip option in here. What I really want that tooltip to show is I want it to show um, the sales and the budget sales or something like that. I want it to show more than one metric. So how can we go about doing that? Or better yet, how about we make it say the budget sales as well as uh, perhaps a, uh, uh, a Viz and tooltip. So let's play around with both of those options. OK, so the first thing we do is I'm going to take budget sales out of the view. I'm going to go ahead and create a calculated field. And I'm just going to call it my target. Same thing as budget, but I'm just going to call it target. And the first thing we want to do is we want to get the budget sales. Oops, geez, oh man, the budget sales for each state. So for each state, we want to get the sum of the budget sales. And then once we have that value, we want to take the overall average. So I'm just going to do another level of detail expression that takes the overall average based on that set. So what this is doing actually is it's mimicking what the reference line does that I put on there. So I put on an average budget reference line, and that's what this does. OK. So I'm going to take that field, my target, I'm going to make it a dual axis chart. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, to synchronize it, I need to actually change my target. I'm sorry, I need to change my sales to a decimal. They need to both be the same type. So there we go. And now on my sales, I'm going to make this a bar. And then on my target, I'm going to make this a Gantt bar. And I'm going to make it as big as it'll go. And then I'm going to go back to my all marks card, take measure names off of the color. And on my target, I'm just going to set it to black. So now you'll see I have what looks like a reference line. So I'm going to go ahead and hide the header for my target. And notice the value says I have now have a custom tooltip. It says Oklahoma, Ohio. The target is 37 through 08. See how my target doesn't change? That's great. OK, so now what I want to do is I want to create another calculated field that is my percent to budget. And for this, I'm going to do the sum of sales minus the target. Uh, let's do sales, uh, sum of sales minus the target. So we need to wrap all that. Uh, let's see, minus, oops, let's see here. Nope, we need to do the sum of sales minus target, there we go, divided by the sum of the target. And that will give us the percent to budget. So let's default properties, number format, and make it, let's just go to uh, maybe one decimal. And now here in our Gantt bar, we can customize what this says. So, uh, or actually we'll just put it on the all marks card. We'll drag percent to budget to the tooltip. And now when we hover over our first bar, oh, I did something wrong there. So uh, it's sales minus target. OK, so I did something wrong here. So this should be the average target. So this should be the sum of sales. Uh, actually, the easiest way to do this is let's do it like this. Sum of sales minus the sum of the target divided by sum of the target. Let's see if that works out right. OK, there we go. So now our percentages are correct. OK, so now notice that uh, I've got my tooltip on my bars here. But the great thing is I now have this thing that looks like a reference line 
but I've now got a customized tooltip. So it shows me the state is Louisiana. My sales are what are 23,000. My target is 37. And my difference to budget is 38%. Now in this particular example, we're, we're setting the, uh, the target to be the same across all of the states. So if we wanna customize our tooltip, we can maybe make the state maybe a nice big font. I would probably switch the sales and the target around. And, and that, let's actually call this percent to target. I should have named that in the first place. And now we get this nice, you know, nice tool tips here. Okay, so one other thing we can do from this point is we could, let's create a new sheet. And let's just look at uh, sales by day, something like that. You'll see I get this weird chart because the, 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 date, the date ranges are weird in this data set. So let's just do sales like that. And then I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna set my filter to 2016. But what I want you to do is I want you to watch this Gantt bar here. It's not gonna change. So you see that moves way out. Uh, so I need to add this to context to make sure that this filter gets applied before the level of detail expression is calculated. And then let's go ahead and add this to all using this data source. And now we've got a better line chart over here. I'm going to uh, just uncheck zero. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hide the header. And then I'm gonna stick the value on the most recent. So let's get that to match the mark color. Okay, there we go. So now what I can do is back over here in my tooltip, I could actually, actually add in my other sheet. So let's add in, oops, sheet two. Hit okay. And now you see I've got a nice little spark line as well. So I'm gonna customize that a bit more. I don't need it to be quite so tall. So I want it to be about three by two. So let's make it 300 by 200 and hit okay. Yeah, now we've got a much better, uh, much better line here. Okay, so that's about it. Uh, very simple. So the big trick there, uh, and actually the last thing maybe we wanna do is we wanna actually label, uh, if you remember back on when we put the, uh, the regular uh, reference line on, it said average budget sales or something like that down here at the bottom. I want the bottom bar to say target uh, on it. So let's go ahead and create another calculated field and let's just call it our target label. And I want to say if last equals zero, then I want it to say target and otherwise return a null. Hit OK. And on my target uh, shelf here, I'm going to drag that to the label and uh, let's go ahead and make sure we lock that in. So I'm going to edit the table calc and it's calculating by state. And there we go. So now it says target at the bottom. It looks just like a reference line, except I now have a custom tooltip on my reference line as well. So hopefully you found that useful. And if you have any questions, please do let me know. Have a great day.